Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to preview the image. Uh, basically, when you try to open this dialog or you try to uh, drag and drop an image file on top of this area, then what you can see, you can actually see a thumbnail of that image. So right now, this is the old code. I just want to show you, uh, say, if I just open it here, what you can see right now is only the name of the file and also the size of the file but not the image itself okay so um now uh we can actually look into this uh website um that they have also include the example of how to do that as well so here um i'm going to copy all of the code here and put it into our uh, projects and see how it's actually showing so I'm going to copy all of this file and uh, right here, this is all the old code. So what I can do, I can just um, basically com comment this one here and the rest of the code from here as well. So I'm going to paste it here and um, we got the reacts drop and right here I just replace this with the existing one and see if we can actually uh, have it up and running and now let me go back and it will refresh the page okay so here you can see that it's actually working so it says that we can actually um, drag and drop some file here or click to select file so I'm going to click some file and see if we can see something from here and need to choose an image so I just want to choose this one and click open you can see that there's a thumbnail here but the thing is that I don't want to actually like showing this star text I don't even know like where to drop the file so what I need to do I need to actually uh, use the code here combined with the previous code that I just show you so what I'm going to do here I need to revert back to the previous code so which is this one and what I need to do, I need to just copy some part of um, the code and we try to uh, refactor based on that. So I need this right here. Uh, basically just use effects and use state. And then uh, we already got this. What I need is the thumbs container, thumbs, and this one is thumb inner and the image size. So I need to copy this and I will go into um, explaining the uh, code as well. Right now, what I need to do is just copy and paste it here. And we actually need. Um, We actually need this file using use state and we have this already. All right, so what I need, I need to copy this part of code and inside the use drop zone, I just paste the code here and for this image, just accept only image. And this is a thumb. So we also need this one as well. And this is just styling. I'll just paste it here. And um, we need to also note that the file here actually the same as the one that we just clear on top here. So what I can do, I can just do um, change the name basically to file path and this is the file path here so to avoid any error message and um, these things we already have so I need to copy this part and put it down here alright so now let's have a look on the screen to see it's actually working okay so now we have already got the styling and I want to show you if it's actually working. I try to choose an image to see if it's actually showing the uh, thumbnail of the image. 
okay so you can see that we can actually get the um, code up and running right now and what I can do right here I can I, I just want to see like the uh, full image of this one so I right click and click on the open image in a new tab so you can see that we can actually see a full size of the image that we just um, open it on our React here. Or I want to also drag and drop to see if it's actually working as well. So I need to choose one image. In this case, I try this one and drag and drop it here. So you can see that we can see the thumbnail of this one and see if I can see this in full size. Okay, the same as previous one. We can also see the full size of the image as well. Okay, so um right now we already get this code up and running what i can do next is to actually um explain um the code of uh, what it does so instead of going through this uh, again i just want to explain it directly from the website uh, to get rid of any duplication uh, from the previous code of explaining like the styling and stuff okay so here uh this one is the preview image so first uh, they use like the use effects and use state uh, this is just like a uh, react hooks that once the page loads it going to call this functions and now uh, we have here the uh, styling for the thumb container basically just like uh, the container of the thumbnail and uh, we use like flex box and uh, also with this uh, margin top and this is the thumb itself. So right here we have like a hundred pixel, uh, as well as this one as well. So you can see that this actually like a square. Um, but I also need to change it as well to show you how it works. And this is just like the box sizing. This is the thumb inner um, image. Uh, the image itself is like a hundred percent for the height and the width is auto. Auto mean like it depend on the height of the image, and this here is to create like uh, using the uh, React hook storing in to the uh, array, and this is the file set file. Um, also here this one accepted file uh, renders in to the um, uh, map function, and uh, there's like a new function here is object dot assign. So what it does is uh, let's have a look on to the website here. So this is from the developer mozilla.org You can see that the object assign is a method that basically used to copy the variable of uh, Enumerable own property from one to another source object to the target object that it will return the um, Target object. So basically this function uh, it does is to copy the objects uh, and from the original source and to in this case is our uh, react application and also uh, once the objects are recopied then uh, here they use another function url dot create object url so now let's have a look again onto this one here it's a static method that it actually create like a dom string the containing the url representing the object given in the uh, parameter so again for this one it just try to create a um, new uh, URL so in this case when I try to open the image in the um, browser here you can see that this is actually the URL objects so uh, this the function does is actually uh, this one right here for the thumb um, here it just a uh, call of the uh, showing the image itself and with the styling that we get it from uh, here as you can see okay so here the use effects to make sure that revoke the data url to a yne memory leak so here there's another for up uh, function so revoke object url you can see that here it says uh, it released an existing object url which was created by uh, this create object url so once we use this uh, function we uh, need to use this function uh, method to finish the object otherwise it's going to be like having a issue of a memory leak so this is just like revoke the object url okay so now um we already get there uh 
here this is the same as previous code that we looked into in the last video and finally we just need to uh, actually show the thumbs on to the uh, react application in this case so that's how this code works and i want to um, change some codes here just uh, instead of like uh, say if my image is uh, having this size you can't actually see like the whole image so what i need to do i need to just change a little bit of code uh, so here in this case the thumb uh, i just put it as like maybe change it a little bit 200 and for the width it going to be depend on the uh, size of the uh, the height of the image so now let's just change that and uh, what i can do i can just select another image so I'm going to be this one. You can see that um, we can now see the image uh, without any cropping as uh, the previous one. And to show you another one, if you notice, we are using the dot maps. So basically, if I just try to open one file, it doesn't make sense at all. So what I can do, I can try to multi-select some files here. So it's going to be one, two, three, it can be four. So I select all of this, uh, pressing the control button and click on the open. So you can see now um, this code actually not showing just one image. It can also uh, show like multiple images as well. It supports that as well. So you can see right here or uh, one more things here. I can just copy maybe four or five of this and um, I'm going to drop it in this uh, area. So when I drag and drop, you can see that it's still working as fine and uh, also with this one because i just changed the to auto so it depends on the image or the height of the image itself that how this um image preview works and hope you learn something from this video so um, in next video i'm going to show something uh, different from this one and i'll see you guys in the next video